Hello, I'm Layla. I'm Francis. And our other group member is Benjamin. We're going to be talking about the Frito-Lay chip packaging and customer dissatisfaction. So the main problem we're going to be focusing on is the Lay's chip bags and the fact that they're normally a disappointment. The chips are always good, but the size of the bag is often misleading. This means people get frustrated and choose other chip brands that give them more chips for their dollar. Choosing another chip brand might lead to less disappointment with not much difference in chip quality for a better dollar value. We personally became aware of this problem from experience and internet memes. In order to identify a few possible causes of the problem, we created a cause and effect or a fishbone diagram. Um, the ultimate effect is that the Frito-Lay chip customer is unsatisfied due to a chip bag consisting mostly of air. Um, and in regards to causes, the equipment, um, the scales that they use to determine the amount of chips in each bag may be faulty. In regards to materials used in the process, um, they may have oversized bags used to package the chips, and the chips in the bags may vary in size, which also contributes to the process, um, the chips being cut unevenly during production, as well as errors in distribution of chips into the bags. In regards to the environment, um, an overcrowded factory setting and a poor layout may contribute, as well as dim lighting, which doesn't allow the workers to adequately see scales or equipment that they're using. In regards to people in the process, um, carelessness of workers on the assembly line may contribute, as well as simple error, human error, of people on the assembly line. And in regards to management, um, corporate negligence of possible resources that can be used um, can contribute, and these are all factors contributing to an unsatisfied Frito-Lay chip customer due to a bag consisting mostly of air. So after we looked at all the causes and effects on the cause and effect diagram, we decided to do a Pareto analysis um, where you see on the graph on the right. Um, through the Pareto analysis, we found that the two leading causes for customer dissatisfaction were the faulty scales and the misleading bag sizes. These two factors contributed to about 80% of the problem. We decided to focus on the discrepancy with, with the scales um, for our data collection. So in the next slide, you will see that is what we collected our data on. So when we collected data, we primarily focused on the idea of faulty scales. Um, and to do this, we weighed 30 bags of Lay's chips that are supposed to be 1.5 ounces from Costco on two different scales. Um, and we used the check sheet to the right to tally the amount of above desired weight, below desired weight, and equal desired weight on each scale um, in ounces. So anything above or below 1.5 ounces. Um, and we inputted all of our data and measurements into Jump for further analysis. On this slide, you can see that we have our data table from Jump. It's our first 10 inputs, and we have the measurements in ounces for scale A, scale B, and then to the right, the average weight in ounces of the two for our hypothesis testing. In regards to hypothesis testing, uh, Frito-Lay claims that their Lay's bags of chips contain 1.5 ounces of potato chips on the front of them. Um, and for our analysis, we have obtained the weights of 30 randomly selected Lay's chips measured on two different scales and averaged for the purpose of this analysis. The sample average computed was 1.486 ounces. Um, with a standard deviation of 0 0.021 ounces, and we're testing this claim at an alpha level of 0 0.05. So our null hypothesis is that the mean chip bag weight is equal to 1.5 ounces. The alternative is that the mean weight is not equal to 1.5 ounces, and the sample average was 1.486 ounces, with a sample standard deviation of 0 0.021 ounces. The sample size was 30 bags. Um, we chose to do a z-test since our sample size was 30. Um, and this was computed to be negative 3.651.
and we computed a p-value of less than 0 0.0001 and note that it is a two-tailed test and so we divided the probability by two um, and since the p-value was less than the alpha level of 0 0.05 we reject the null. At the 5% significance level we have statistically significant evidence that the true mean chip weight in Lay's chips is not 1.5 ounces and Frito-Lay's claim is wrong. So after our multiple methods of analysis, uh, we came up with a couple realistic recommendations for Frito-Lay since it is obvious that their production needs a little help. Um, one of the recommendations we thought was that they should pop probably regularly calibrate their scales to ensure that they are um, measuring accurately and putting what they said they are putting into each bag. The next would be to set up an extra inspection station to ensure the products are up to quality requirements. And the last one we thought of was to use smaller chip bags than the ones already used. This would reduce waste because it uses a lot of extra plastic and create more realistic representations of the amount of chips in the bag. All of these could potentially um, increase customer satisfaction and reduce waste at the same time. Thank you for watching our presentation.